is on assignment and she will join us later in the show. Our top story tonight, the family of a little boy on the Big Island who died while in foster care filed a lawsuit today against the state. Fabian Garrett Garcia died in 2017. He was only three years old. Last year, police reclassified the case as murder. Today, I spoke with the family's attorney. Fabian Garrett Garcia died on July 25, 2017 at a hospital in Kailua, Kona. He had been in foster care and had numerous injuries. We spoke with his father just days after. I don't know how to, how to explain it. Like, it's like numbing, numbing, like, I don't know, it's shock, I guess, shocking. Like, unbelievable. Even, even after I saw him, I couldn't believe he, he, was, he was dead. Last August, Big Island police reclassified the case to murder after getting a second opinion on the autopsy. Police arrested Fabian's foster mother, Chastity Alcosaba McKenzie, on suspicion of murder. She was released and has not been charged. Fabian's biological mother is now suing the state, contract provider Catholic Charities, Alcosaba McKenzie, and others. We're seeking really two things. Uh, the first thing is we're seeking justice uh, for Fabian's Ohana, uh, as well as... Uh, we're seeking change that is uh, supposed to protect children, uh, a system that uh, failed uh, Fabian's family, his parents, his siblings. And we, we really fear that uh, children who are in this system right now, uh, at least on the outer islands and, and specifically here on Hawaii Island, um, unless changes are made, th th those children, uh, that they're, they're not safe. And we uh, hope that this lawsuit can bring awareness to some of the problems with the system so we don't have another case uh, like, uh, like this one. He says Fabian's mother notified social workers numerous times that she suspected Fabian was being abused. Unfortunately, those warnings were, were, were never investigated. Uh, the children were never removed from the home pending an investigation. The lawsuit seeks monetary damages. Foster says the amount would be decided by the jury. I think the solution, you know, starts and ends with safety and making sure that the children who are entrusted uh, to the temporary custody of the state are safe. The lawsuit was filed in court today, so no court date has been set just yet. We will keep following up on this and we will let you know what comes of it.